where we used to work. And if you follow me in here, I think you're going to like what you see. Tonight, reflections on their life together. Sonny and me. Cher remembers. When I was little, I wanted to be famous. I went to see Dumbo when I was about five or six years old, and I wanted to be in animated films. Then I found out later that you can't be in animated films, and so I thought I would just be famous. When I was 11, I started practicing my autograph. I had the same autograph that I have now. If I hadn't met Sun, I always thought I would have been a bank robber. I had like raw energy, but I didn't have any um, direction. You know, when I met Sun, he had been trying to be in show business for 10 years. I was 16, he was 28, and I really didn't know what I was doing ever, you know? even for a long time after that, even today, possibly. Sun was about six when he had his first taste of showbiz. He played Big Chief Foot in the Aisle in a grammar school play. In the mid-40s, his folks moved to California from Detroit. His dad was Sicilian, and his mom was a second-generation Italian. They were old world strict. While Sun was going to Inglewood High, he bought a set of secondhand bongo drums that he played with a group he'd put together. He also got suspended from school for bringing in the first all black rock and roll band for the high school prom. The first song Sun ever wrote was on a ukulele. It was called Ecstasy. Thank God I didn't know him when he played the ukulele. What I do remember is this piano. One day he called me and he said, Cher, I've got this fabulous thing, a big surprise, I'm bringing it home. So, of course, I was thinking it was something for me. And what he did bring home was this old, scratchy, ugly piano. And he said, no, Cher, you don't understand. It's a great deal. I only paid 85 bucks for it, and it only has three broken keys. Well, he sat there, and over the next months, he wrote, Baby, Don't Go, Just You, and I Got You, Babe. And I never saw him so happy as when he was sitting at this piano. the worst piano player in the universe. He could play, he played like this, and he only knew three chords, and so he would play with one finger, and then he would make his chords with that hand. And he knew his artistry wasn't fabulous, but his personality was so great. So it was a combination of artistry, personality, and ambition, and the three kind of went together hand in hand. When we got together, we sort of generated each other. She was my inspiration. And it was just something that worked, you know, something that was right. And uh, we pursued the music business, and here we are, knock on wood. I'll never forget the first time I saw Sun. It was at a restaurant called Aldo's. You know, like in, in West Side Story, when Tony and Maria meet, it was like that. Everybody kind of went into soft focus, and there was Sonny. And he just looked... I don't know, it's like you meet people but nothing really happens, but when I saw him, something happened. And so he and I kind of became, not friends, I annoyed him. And then I got kicked out of my apartment because there were too many girls living in it. And he said, you know what, I don't find you particularly attractive, but you could come and live in my house and he and I stayed in the same room and slept in twin beds. And so we got along really well, and he was so different. I never met anyone like him. And one day, we just realized that we'd fallen in love. family didn't know about Sonny. I told them I was living with a stewardess. And so when they actually did find out,